Hello everyone and welcome back. My name is Matt Letter and today I want to show you some more cool stuff. So, the last time I made a video, I made a video about Foundry and why I like it so much. And I thought, hey, um, why not expand upon that? And not just upon Foundry itself, but also on uh, what to me personally right now is my holy trinity in role-playing game preparation stuff. So, let me show you what I want to show you. First of all, I'm now using three main tools to bring my role-playing game sessions to life. Of course, I've already shown you Foundry. Um, I'll go into that a bit more in depth soon. Um, right now, I want to make you aware, if you are not aware of it already, of WonderDraft. WonderDraft is a absolutely amazing uh, tool for cartography. Um, it's uh, got a whole lot of very nice features. It's a one-time purchase only. It'll run you 30 US dollars. It's uh, Downloadable, you have it, it runs no internet connection, no subscription fee, uh, no browser-based tool sets, which I personally value a lot. And it's rather um, great in how much you can do with it. Uh, it features various different styles, uh, various different icon sets. It's very easily expandable with fan-made content. Um, all of that I'll go into a bit more detail in a separate video. Um, so. What can you do with WonderDraft? Uh, personally, I started doing my um, overland maps mostly with it. Um, for example, I'm currently running a campaign setting of my own creation, Elder Ground, and this entire map um, is completely, whoops, misclicks. <laughs> this entire campaign is made uh, in WonderDraft, this entire map. Everything you see here is placed in WonderDraft, labeled in WonderDraft. And if it looks very busy, that's just the style I was going for. You can go fairly artsy with it as well. It's very adaptable at what it can do. So besides that, of course, uh, there's other options. Um, right now I'm playing a campaign inspired by Kingmaker and my players are building their own little town. And uh, with a few nice uh, additional icon sets you can gain from, well, wherever you can find them. Um, I personally paid for uh, these icons here from Two Minute Tabletop um, to, well, represent a nice little town that's growing and uh, coming to life more and more. But that's not all. Wonder Draft. 30 bucks, really great for overland maps. But the same person created another tool. Dungeon Draft. You know the similarity? Um, and Dungeon Draft is essentially for dungeons what Wonder Draft is for general maps. Um, it runs on the same principle. Um, it has a lot of really nice features. You can visit the webpage yourself, dungeondraft.net. It doesn't have all too much requirements. And it'll run you 20 bucks. Um, difference here is, at least on my end, Dungeon Draft is still a little bit crash happy, so uh, save often. And yeah, if you have Dungeon Draft, well, what can you do with that? Um, well, all manner of uh, rather nice looking uh, maps uh, in various styles as well. These all look fairly similar because, of course, I'm trying to run a coherent campaign. There's a certain style I'm trying to go for. And all of these maps have been handcrafted by me with the available eigen sets. And at maximum, the most complex maps like uh, this one and the one before took me maybe 45 minutes. The really nice thing is, um, it actually includes, as this map here shows, uh, lighting capabilities. And thanks to a rather nice uh, mod, you can directly import that stuff uh, into Foundry if you're using it. Um, and it will automatically read out all the walls, all the light sources, and place them in Foundry. Rather ingenious, and one of the many reasons why I like it so much. But yeah, um, Dungeon Draft, I'll go into it in detail in a separate video as well, is a very quick and easy and nice looking dungeon creation tool. Same things apply, as I mentioned, you download it, you pay once, no subscription fee, it's on your computer, it runs at, well, outside of a browser, which to me personally is very important because I just always feel the browser-based programs to be rather slow. And lastly, you've already seen it, I've already made a video on it, Foundry. So. Foundry is a virtual tabletop environment. Uh, you can set up your campaigns there. One person needs to, uh, and only one person, needs to get the program, pay for it. It's 50 bucks, one-time cost, no subscription. And then you can self-host with a couple easy clicks. Um, 
you have full control over your own content. You're not limited by uh, upload limits. Um, and just generally speaking, it's very in-depth and very nice. If you're interested about it, I made a video recently. Uh, look that up. I explain a lot of that in more detail. I will go across all three programs in the coming videos, explaining them, showing off what you can do with it. And for Foundry in particular, I want to basically run a short series of very basic tutorials on how to get you started, just to help you along the way if you decide to go for it, or if you just want to look at it and see how it works, see what needs to be done, and decide for yourself if that is for you or not. So that's it for this video. This is more or less the announcement for the upcoming short series of videos. And I'll thank you for that. Um, give it an upvote if you like. Uh, look for more. See you around.